Neng, neng, yeah, 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 jump, 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 yeah, jump, woo, yeah, neng, yeah, look at me go, look at me go, yeah, yeah, woo, yeah, let's go. What is going on everyone? My name is EB and welcome to my first ever Black Ops 3 map dissection. Today we're going to be taking a look at the map Aquarium. Now before I get started, I uh, just want to say that not all of these you know, spots or lines of sights or movements can be completely relevant to a game. They might help you in certain scenarios, they might not help you in certain scenarios, but I was just trying to go for whatever whatever I could possibly find. So today, first gonna start out right at the back of C spawn on domination here. Now, say you got someone coming out uh, this room over here, you got someone coming out over by yellow box, you know, mid-map, you're running, you know, you don't know where to go. Maybe maybe hide behind this van, I don't know. What you could do is one of these. These red barriers could be a great source of cover. You know, duck down, pop up, bang, bang, bang. Pop up, bang, bang, bang. You know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying? You know, over here, you got, oh, guy coming, guy coming. Pop up, bang. Almost fell and almost, almost ate it there. But that's a nice little cheeky spot. I mean, you could run on this wall. Where would, you, where would you maybe go? I mean, not really useful, but you can make it useful. Do one of these. Come back here. And you're jumping through, like, freaking Tarzan. Look, you coming through these trees. You coming in hot and bang, bang, bang. You know, you got to get through it. Now, of course, you could run on these walls. You know. Bleh, bleh, bleh. So exciting. You know, you got the little water here, little water area, yeah, seal, got you, bitch. Uh, this waterfall area, I mean, I've seen it done, but it's not the greatest. Yeah, you can shoot through here, and on the other side, it's a little bit darker, so you might have a little bit of an advantage, and I'm about to die, because I, yep, oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, next we're going to be looking at the A-bomb site. Now, A-bomb has a couple things you could do here. Say, obviously, you're capturing it, you know. You know they're going to be spawning back in this area. You know, maybe mid-map coming out here. Say you just capture it. Yeah, you can do the whole laying behind this. You could quickly go into the water. You might get shot in the back, go in this room, head glitch behind this. But what you can also do is you got some land out here. You got three seconds before you get killed by it. Now, if you want, you could jump. Lay in here, lay in here, pop out, bang, bang, bang. Another thing is, if you want to do a little sneaky, like I said, you got three seconds, you run. They don't know you're coming this way. Who is in their right mind is going to be looking out here when they're coming up to A? No one. You got three seconds out there, you might as well use it to your advantage. Next, what you can do is, again, if you know they're spawning out here, maybe someone's head glitching, you know, head glitching. And they know you're coming from this way. Use every wall to your advantage. What you can do is do one of these. Hop up here. Boost! And get up this way. There you go. Now you got a little bang bang. Another little bang bang. You know what I'm saying? Now from here, like I said in the beginning of the video, not every one of these little wall, wall runs or lines of sight may be useful. Some of them are just kind of fun to do. That's one of them. It's a little bit more challenging, but if you want to get behind an opponent here, you can use that. No one's going to see you coming from all the way over there. And what's great about this spot is if there is someone capturing A, you can just pick them off right here. Look at that. Bang. Now next, which, there's a little one over here. Say you got, you got a little guy over here, you know, he's, he's waiting for you. He doesn't know what's going to happen when you do one of these. So you got this nice little box here blocking this part. So if you jump down here wall run, 
go. You to stay a little low. Here you go. Here you go. Pop up on him. He's not expecting your ass to come from right here. He's going to be looking like, oh, God, is he here? Oh, God, he's going to see this, and he's going to die. He's going to die instantly. And there's not much going on in these rooms. You know, there's fucking water. Gross. I don't know why. what aquarium has water like this. Let's be. It's green. Yep, that's what they do. Now, moving on towards the C site. You can run on this wall. You're going to get stuck there. It's kind of useless, if you ask me. Now, if you got people head glitching over here, you know, you got a guy hiding here. Say someone knows you're coming through this door. They're like, oh, he's coming. We're going to hide right here. We're going to make sure we get him when he comes around this corner. Yeah, so what you can do is you got a little bit of cover here. Get on this, sprint at this wall, hop up. Not wait quite what I wanted, but we will, no, see if you, if you, you can't jump, because if you jump, they're going to see your head there and then be ready for it, so we got to zoom up there, and like I said, it might not even work, but if they're laying down here waiting for you, they're not going to see you jumping over this wall, they're going to say, how the hell did you ninja that, so, no, it might not work, maybe it will, who knows, now, everyone's always sitting in this spot, waiting for you to run, waiting for you to run. Now, if this gets a little old, people know you're going to be sitting there. What you can do is, like I said, I don't advise camping, but if maybe you're, cat, maybe you're protecting the sea dom you can hop over this little rope here and look at this. Look at this little sight here. You can shoot back there. You can, you're totally behind this. You know, someone coming through the water, bang. Like, you got this whole area covered, and you got teammates capturing. See, maybe you sit here and help your teammates out. God. Look at Nemo. Next, with the Sea Dom spite site, there's two places you can capture it. Otherwise, sitting inside. You can sit behind this one, you know. You got some cover, some head glitch right there. Or, you can sit in the bushes here. There we go. You can lay down and capture it. You're going to be literally invisible. So yeah, there's, there's that. Um, that's basically for the outside of this map. The inside, there isn't really all that much. Um, what you can do for B site, there's not many really capture spots, obviously. It's just kind of sitting and hoping kind of thing. Uh, just be aware, obviously, of these two head glitches. These... I hate these head glitches, they are the worst. The one thing I have seen is if yeah, there's a guy camping up here, a lot of people love camping up in this purple room. If you go a guy's camping and you see this guy up here doing one of these duh Oh, I need I see he's coming. We're gonna lay here and we gonna wait for him. What you can do is it's a little it's a little risky, but if you run here, you run up run up run up this way you can get him you know and start going to town again um that's basically it that i have for this map other than there's a couple other more obvious stuff i mean there's not much going on in here um yeah so that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Twitch and Twitter links are going to be in the description. As always, this was your boy EB. Till next time, YouTube.